Hello everyone, hello dear friends. Today I'm coming at you from San Cristobal de las Casas. This is in South Mexico. I'm very close to the Guatemalan border. I can't believe this is already this part of the trip. Like we're entering our fourth country and then we'll be there for probably four months. If you're not already following this backpacking trip, make sure to go subscribe to our travel channel, me and my partner. So our channel is Gab and Maya Backpacking. I will link it down below and also up there. Okay, that song that was just playing before is Tu Si Sabes Quererme. This is from Natalia Lafourcade and she's Mexican. Mexican artist, Mexican musician, singer. Uh, this is one of my favorites for the month of um, actually December, more December than January. I listened to it like way too many times. I actually kind of got sick of it. I listened to it probably at least four times a day and uh, non-stop for two weeks. <laughs> um, so, but I still love it. Like if you haven't heard it yet, go listen to it. And there's another one that I love from her and it's called Nunca... Nunca es suficiente. Uh, let me show it to you actually. Just give me one second. It's just cute. Like. Actually, those are kind of like more pop, you know, like popular songs and um, it's not usually exactly my style of music that I listen to day to day. So that's the reason why I listened to them for two weeks and then I got sick of them. So I actually do love these songs. My next favorite is something maybe controversial. Maybe you'll be like, whoa, Maya, I didn't know you did that kind of stuff. All right, this is it. So maybe you will recognize these three letters, THC. This is not THC per se, they just wrote that, you know, to attract your attention. This is cannabis extract, okay? Cannabis extract mixed with agave nectar and spirulina powder. This is a tincture. So a tincture of cannabis, why the hell would I want to take this? First of all, is it a drug? No. Second of all, do you get that typical marijuana high no you do not you do not get high off of this okay so this is not a drug okay this is a plant extract a plant you make a tincture out of it and then you put five drops under your tongue and the the uses that i use it for honestly it's to promote sleep this is the first one so before i go to bed it doesn't really make you sleepy, but it really helps because what it does is that it really relaxes your mind, your muscles, you feel calm. Yes, this is the word, you feel calm and relaxed. So if I'm feeling like uh, it's 10 p.m., you know, this is the, the time that I go to bed, I'm really anxious, very, or maybe I'm very excited, like I just, I was just laughing a lot with someone singing very loud, I don't know, screaming and stuff. So maybe it's not the best mood to be in if you wanna to go to sleep, you know? So I usually just put five drops under my tongue and I become very relaxed. Of course, you know, you can meditate to achieve this. You have to be really trained to, you know, actually achieve a certain calmness. Um, for me, it would t take probably 20 minutes of meditation to feel like I'm at ease and relaxed. Whereas with this, it's an instant effect. Like it literally goes into your bloodstream two seconds into it. Um, the other use is to reduce nausea. Now I'm very sensitive. We've been taking a lot of buses and you know, minivans, colectivos while we're here in Mexico. And I get nauseous so quickly. Like if the bus is going like, like this or th you know, like when it's going up a mountain and it's just like, 
and it's very very shaky well when I take this it really helps with nausea okay so I'm going to read you all of the things that it says here that you can use it for it's in Spanish so I'm going to like instantly translate it for you um, yes so it promotes sleep relaxes muscles augments levels of dopamine and I can attest to that you definitely feel like no worries like Kuna matata, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. It alleviates anxiety, as I said. It also helps with uh, pain or aches. Like, for example, I had a huge headache from being in the sun, and uh, I took this, and um, no headache. I swear, like, I before taking it, I drank water, I tried to relax and breathe didn't really work so I tried this and it worked and you know I really would love to avoid taking like Advil, Tylenol, those types of drugs yeah you know what's controversial is that this like cannabis tincture is really controversial and it's not even a drug doesn't even play with your mind or anything whereas something like Advil and Tylenol is actually relatively dangerous for your health and you know that's sold over the counter. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? It's antibacterial. It's good for removing the bad bacteria from your body. So it's not antibacterial in the sense that it will remove the good gut bacteria. It will fight to remove the bad bacteria from your body. It really says specifically here that it does not cause the typical high associated with cannabis. It reduces inflammation. So honestly, I had like this pimple here, right in the middle on my third eye. I put it topically. I just applied it on the, the pimple and it reduced the inflammation very effectively. So I think if you take it internally as well, it's good, kind of like, you know, turmeric, all of these anti-inflammatory um, foods. And then it helps with strengthening your bones. Now, who doesn't want strong bones, right? So definitely look into that if you can find it where you live. I actually bought it in Punta Cicatela, which is very close to Puerto Escondido in the south on the Oaxacan coast of Mexico. Uh, it cost me 200 pesos, which is like $12, $13 Canadian. This will last me many months. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Next, I have some rose water. I'm so happy that I found this bottle. This is real rose water. It's not just water with rose essential oil or something like that. It's actual, you know, rose hydrosol. Just a little close up of my rose water. I believe this is a Mexican brand. So that's what I love about these products. Oshum, Agua de Rosas and it's uh, Ocean Green Cosmetics. It says here made in Mexico, hecho in Mexico, with rose water, you're balancing your pH, you're getting that inner glow into your skin, and plus the aromatherapy benefits for me anyway, <sighs> are just fantastic. I feel so, so, so happy and blissful whenever I smell rose. I just love rose. Actually, have you seen Holistic Habits video about rose nectar? I really want to try that. When I come back to Canada, I'm going to order that stuff. Okay, next is this little solid patchouli deodorant from Lush. Actually, I bought it in Mexico City. And the reason why I bought this, I usually don't really buy this sort of stuff. At home, I make my own deodorant and this is by far the best most effective deodorant I've ever used. It's very simple. It's just um, aluminum-free baking soda, arrowroot powder, coconut oil, and then you add the essential oils that you like. So I was using this Schmitz solid cedarwood juniper deodorant. It was working so well for me for several months. Um, but as I entered Mexico and we were, you know, getting our clothes washed in those lavanderias like you know um laundromat with some toxic detergent and i don't know what happened i think my clothes rubbing on my armpit mixed with the natural deodorant that did not work i was getting these horrible rashes on my armpits i could not stop scratching it actually almost bled i bought this deodorant with it, which is called aromaco and um, it works it works very well and it smells good like i love i love patchouli i don't know about you but it smells like earth but also a little floral and sweet 
I love patchouli. I think it's one of my favorite scents ever. So it's very easy because it's solid. You know, you just apply it like this. And um, for me, it lasts all day. All right, next I have Moringa powder. Now, sorry about this plastic bag. Honestly, I have no other choice while I'm traveling. If I had prepared some reusable bags or something in advance, but you know, I will keep this bag for many months with this Moringa powder, so at least there's that. But I really want to work on, you know, living a more sustainable, eco-friendly life. You know, I'm still working on it. So give me a chance, please. I'm not perfect. Now this Moringa powder, you see how green it is? Isn't it beautiful? I love adding it to smoothies and you can definitely add it into soups or your water. Although I notice it doesn't really dissolve in the water. It just remains like clumpy in the water. So I don't really like that. But I did enjoy it in smoothies because it stays mixed up in the smoothies of beautiful green. Why would you consume Moringa? First of all, this is considered a superfood because it's so nutritious. It has um, all the B vitamins, like B12, yes, B12. So if you eat like a tablespoon every day, you're all set for your B vitamins. Um, it has also many other benefits like vitamin E, which is amazing for your skin. The main reason I'm taking the Moringa powder every day is for its hormonal balancing properties. Um, I had my last period uh, a week ago. It was terrible. Like for many hours, I felt excruciating pain in my abdomen. I'm hoping that taking this Moringa powder every day, my next period will be much smoother. Okay, next I have two YouTube videos that I enjoyed and they're gonna be kind of biased, but hear me out. The first one is the last video that we published on our channel, which is in Guadalajara. If you didn't know, it's the second biggest city, biggest metropolis of Mexico. It has the second largest population of the country and it's full of students and artists and interesting people. I think you would enjoy it. So go ahead and watch our Guadalajara episode. My other video is the last one that I published. You guys, I haven't seen so many organic comments coming into a video in a long time. So I usually do get like a few comments from you guys, but I'm so thankful that you felt like you wanted to share something that you felt when you watched this video that I made. It's a simple video that I really tried to get this peacefulness through the video. Um, it shows my morning routine while I was in Punta Cicatela on the Pacific Ocean coast in Mexico. And um, you know, it's there's no talking, it's just writing kind of flowing in and out with a beautiful, beautiful uh, Bach cello piece that I absolutely adore. And um, many of you told me that you loved that video. And actually I'm including it in my favorites because I've been watching it myself <laughs> just to get inspired. Some mornings, to be honest, I'm not perfect. Some mornings I'm not so motivated, you know, uh, I kind of pick up my cell phone and I'm like scrolling for two or three minutes and then I'm like, you know what? I will watch my morning routine video to get me back into that mood. I think this is all I'm going to say. Now, I haven't done a what I eat in a day video in a long time. The last one that I did was in October. Please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you would like me to do these what I eat in a day videos more often. I'm not sure, you know, if you like them. I'm not even sure if you like these favorites videos, but to be honest, I keep making them because I enjoy them. So I'm going to go make dinner. I'm making some tacos. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, leave me a comment um, in the description box. I absolutely love reading your comments. I will see you in the next video. Bye.